Welcome to our continuing educational rounds here at Seclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility located outside of Delmont, Pennsylvania, where we specialize in treating people, not necessarily diagnoses. My name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be... Ryan Bingham, a physician assistant student from Chatham University. And on my right... James Buckley, uh, music director here at uh, Seclair. So what we try to do also is to showcase and highlight various personalities here at Seclair. And James has been a mainstay and a fixture and a face of Seclair for a number of years. And I thought we thought it would be appropriate that we allow him to present himself today. Uh, James and I were talking earlier about how comic books have uh, generally sometimes they have an origin story of a character, and uh, I, I'd be fascinated to hear yours, James. Yeah, well, it's, uh, you know, I, I, I enjoy telling my story, not because I enjoy talking about myself, but I, I found out that by uh, relaying some of the experiences and things that I've gone through and done, I actually inspire people and motivate people uh, because I survived and I got through it. So I take that experience and use it as a tool to uh, help others help themselves when they are faced with uh, you know, adverse conditions and uh, you know, how, how you can be strong enough to get through some sort of things and you know, what it takes to, to... So what you're talking about is much of what we do here is some people live in the past with regret, shame, and guilt and however, what you're telling me is that you've turned that into experience and wisdom, not only to help yourself, James, to help others. Exactly, and, and, and so, so all these stories that I, 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 I tell, and I, I tell them to many different groups, uh, they, they enjoy hearing them, and uh, they just uh, you know, tell me things like, how, you know, how, how, how could you do all these things? So I've definitely had a, have had a full life of many different experiences, and uh, you know, I it's it's time to share them now uh, for for good, you know, for good reasons. And uh, I'm all about you know helping others, and as, as you know, that's I'm, my nature. I'm well aware of that. You have a, a compassionate and giving heart. Uh, so, could you possibly share with us some of the things, that, some significant experiences that shaped uh, the person that you are today? Well, there's so many. Uh, I, I'll just go back to. You know, I, I often tell people that, uh, you know, I had some near-death experiences and that all started when I was uh, four years old, actually, uh, when I and my sister wandered away from the house after a big rainstorm and I stood above a, a storm drain that went into a pretty wide, wide uh, uh, creek in uh, Chartier's Creek and I fell into the drain uh, and the water was just gushing out because it was... You know, this had been a big storm, so the water was coming out pretty, pretty strong. And I, I grabbed hold of the side, which was like pebbled concrete, and I got my fingers to hold me there from it pulling me out. And the, the really special part of that is my sister, who was two years younger than me, we had a little red wagon, and she tried to lower down to help me, to, for me to grab. You were four years old, she was two. She was two. Wow. Yeah. Why we were out there and where our parents were, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it happened, and uh, so so she lowered the wagon for me to grab hold of it, you know, and I kept trying to reach it, and I couldn't grab it. You know, it was only years later that I realized that that would not have been a good thing for me to have grabbed that wagon. I would have pulled her right in, and being two years old, she would have had less of a chance. So uh, I managed to pull myself out of that, uh, and, uh, and that was the beginning of these... <laughs> close encounters that I have had. Uh, the following year I got hit by a car and got, had a fractured skull. So that was, uh, you know, like I said, it was like uh, a lifetime of <laughs> risk taking and, uh, you know, doing things that weren't really very smart. Uh, but I survived and, you know. That's, I, that's the key, I yeah. survived. I survived and I, I feel there was a reason for that. Mm -hmm. So I can tell some of these stories to others to say, you know, just be careful what you do out there. Think about what you do before you do it. Emotional, emotional minds can cause you to go places that your wise mind probably would, you know, might uh, 
you disagree. So share with us a bit how you began to mature and learn the difference between making emotional or impulsive decisions versus what we call here wise mind choices. Well, I think that uh, that started probably in my teenage years, so high school years. Uh, I was very fortunate to be able to uh, attend a, uh, a school in high school that, was, uh, that helped correct me. It was a fork in the road that I had reached because I was, I was heading down a path of uh, trouble and, and there was also this path of goodness and so forth and uh, it was actually one of the nuns from school that had had uh, approached me in the hallway and she, she was notorious for being the meanest one <laughs> and, and she certainly took it out on me I mean I deserved it but so because that's where I was you know she knew she knew what I was uh, up to and all the, all the trouble I was getting into but she approached me and says asked me where I was going to high school and I, I told her I said probably the local public school and she says oh well your grades were pretty good you should try to go to this uh, private mm -hmm. school and I said well I can't afford it so this woman was giving you encouragement and support yeah, it was just a, a passing in the hallway, you know. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like she had intent. She just saw me and thought of it. And maybe she had, you know, thought about it earlier, but she saw me and, and brought it up. However, it's a moment that you recall. It's a very vivid moment because at that time, she led me to someone who would pay for my education. Mm -hmm. And that kept me from going down the path mm -hmm. that I was toying with. So you were talking earlier, James, about we sometimes overlook moments that are significant. And you were also mentioning earlier that your thoughts are that everything happens for a reason and there's a purpose behind it. Well, you know, that, that's a, it's a commonly used phrase. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's fine because people can say that, mm -hmm. that, that things happen for a reason. Uh, the, the, the thing about it is it, it takes uh, some faith that there is a reason because mm -hmm. we really don't know mm -hmm. what what if, if that's the case or not that it happens for a reason but some of us believe that it does and uh, myself believing in a power higher than me mm -hmm. feel that uh, you know God has a way of taking us where he feels that we would do the best and that falls right into the Seclair holistic wellness philosophy where we make no apologies to uh, insist and encourage that a spiritual part of life, a foundation, is, is essential. Exactly. And, and because we, we have so many different kind of uh, uh, religions and spiritual, it doesn't mean that any one of them is ac actually right. Because if, if, that, if we knew that, then we would all be there. <laughs> but that's what faith is. Faith is not knowing. So... You know, that it's all built on that foundation because if we knew all the answers, well, life would be pretty boring, first of all. Uh, and, you know, we, we, would, we would already know what to do and, you know, it would be just such a different thing. But now we were given free choice, freedom to make uh, choices in our life. And, and I believe that there are, if it's God or if it's angels, whatever, directing us at times, mm -hmm. helping us at times putting us in a place where we can do a lot of help and coming to Seclair, I feel that, you know, that's part of it for me. And, and, uh, and I'm, I just, you know, feel very comfortable. Well, speaking from a 12-step world perspective, and I think everyone out there knows where I'm from, is that we believe that we do the footwork and the power greater than yourself determines the results. So tell us about the footwork. You were talking about going to this other school. Yeah, so so I you know I attended that school and it was it was a really good thing for me because one one of the things about the school is, is 